We're standing right here in the heart of New York City, but investors from all over the world get a chance to invest in the great innovators of our day through NASDAQ. When NASDAQ first started back in 1971, there were some really young upstart companies like Microsoft, Intel, Applied Materials, Comcast. Those are companies today that the whole world knows and they're really mainstay brands here in the US. But at the time, they were young and really hungry to grow and expand their businesses. That remains the reason why companies go public today. Companies like Dropbox and MongoDB, Workday, they are coming to NASDAQ because they want to drive the growth of their business. They want to increase the investment in their business so that they can create jobs and rewrite their own tomorrow. And NASDAQ is their home. I joined NASDAQ in 1993, right on the verge of the internet era. NASDAQ was an electronic market, but suddenly we had the first retail brokers come online and really start to democratize investing for the average saver in the United States. It was an amazing experience to see how many millions of people decided to come in and become direct participants in the capital markets with the use of the internet. So that really was my first experience of seeing how technology can have a huge impact on the growth and prosperity of individuals, but also on the advancements of the capital markets. Since then, honestly, the pace of change has been just the same as it was when I first got here. We're seeing more and more technologies coming in to drive the future of these markets, whether it's machine intelligence, the blockchain or the cloud, all of these technologies are now being applied into the capital markets to make the markets safer, to make them more global, and to continue to democratize savings and investing. NASDAQ is an advanced technology company that serves the global capital markets today. Not only do we use our technology within our own markets, but we also provide our technology to over 90 markets around the world. So we have a very good global understanding of how important these markets are to economic growth and prosperity. When we look at technology and where technology is going to take the markets, we see a future where the cloud will allow the markets to continue to be more global and investors will have better capability to connect into markets all over the world. The markets will be more scalable and more agile and flexible. We see a future where machine intelligence will drive intelligent investment decisions as well as provide better surveillance and oversight capabilities for the markets. We see a future also where the blockchain really could make the markets much more efficient, take risk out of the system, and allow more liquidity to come into those markets to drive more and more participation. So we're extremely excited about how technology will continue to define our industry. NASDAQ today has a unique value proposition for our listed companies. On that first day, we provide a very advanced auction experience for them to take their first step into the capital markets with their first trade. It allows for supply and demand to come together and find the right price for the first trade in the market. And then we surround that with a great celebration because this is a big step in the evolution of a company. It also is a great branding event and a branding opportunity. It allows them to tell their story and how they're rewriting tomorrow and driving the future of the economy. Beyond the first day, it's so important that they really develop a very strong investor relations program and they continue to think about how they want to drive growth of their company, but also how they want to tell their story to their investors. NASDAQ looks at this as a journey and it's one that we are a partner with our companies for as long as they choose to be a public company. We provide investor relations, intelligence, and other technologies and, and support to make sure that they understand their investors, how those investors are changing, and how they want to drive investors into their company. We also provide great visibility and branding capabilities throughout their life as a public company to make sure that their story is told every day to as many people as possible. At the end of the day, we're here to serve the average person who has spent their entire career working really hard to plan for retirement. And when you think about what the capital markets can do, they can drive an enormous amount of wealth creation for those people who really think about thoughtfully how they want to plan for their retirement, how they want to invest for their retirement. And today, they can either choose to control all of their investments themselves, they can choose to put their savings into baskets of investments and in, into exchange traded products, or they can choose to put their savings into mutual funds or their employers provide pension funds, but all of those vehicles invest in the capital markets. We are really an engine for wealth creation in this country, and it's really exciting to think about all the means that investors have today to interact with the capital markets and to make it so that they can have a better life for themselves and their children. When I was in business school, I realized that the capital markets really sit right in the center of the economy. When I think about what the capital markets mean, to the economy, it allows for opportunity. Opportunity for companies to come raise capital, grow their businesses, increase job growth. 
It allows for investors to increase their wealth, increase their opportunity in life by saving their money and propelling their future with the savings that they have. It allows for market participants to come in and have a very efficient and advanced experience in navigating those capital markets for the benefit of their clients. And so when I realized how much the capital markets really sit in the center of economic growth and prosperity, I got very excited to come into the industry and I started my career here at NASDAQ. When NASDAQ launched in 1971, we launched with a vision that investors all over the world should be able to invest in the capital markets. We were the first electronic market to take the markets to a global state. That vision is a reality today. 